It's a short track Saturday night. Off we go from Martinsville. Cole's able to get a good launch, but not be able to get all the way down. Pinches uh, the exit for Sheldon Creed. Should be able to take the lead here into turn three. Look at Jeb Burton making it happen in that outside lane, driving the 27. Right, so these are the first laps these guys have made since yesterday. You know, I mean, they sat around all day trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to do to our car? How's the racetrack going to be? So you're kind of learning under fire. Everyone's trying to settle in. Jeb did a really good job of getting down into third. And you see Eric Amarillo really working hard to try to clear himself in front of that five, and he does. Inside the top 25 or so. You talk about what a detriment it was to be stuck on that outside lane. Brandon Jones is almost up to Parker Klegerman, who got stuck on the outside. He's only two cars behind oh. him. As we see, a oh, lot of contact spin. in three and four. It's been out. That's Dexter Bean in the 92 going around. Yeah. Caution's a theme at Martinsville for the Xfinity Series. Did a good job for not really hitting anything. He kept uh, kept it off the wall. But this is, uh, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a product of a little three wide, some dive bomb action. You're going to see that a lot tonight. And I think, unfortunately, Dexter was uh, had the bad end of it. Yeah, so Sammy Smith gets a really good run off a of two, decides to take the six in the 92 three wide, and um, room runs out really quick here. Yeah, I don't think those guys were, were quite ready for that. I don't think it was a bad move from, from Sammy's part. I mean, he started at the back, but I don't think anyone was ready for that move. The balance of patience and aggression. Early caution here at Martinsville. Have a really good launch by Custer in the restart zone there. I think that's going to be important all night as Creed runs him really, really tight trying to keep that outside rolling. That's a roll reversal from the start of the race when Creed was inside and Custer was outside. I think you got to fight for all you got when you're on the outside here. If you're if you're Creed, Jeb Burton, you see that hole opening up behind you, you got to duck down and try and get on the bottom. There's only 26 to go in this stage. When did my car start getting good? And when did it start going kind of south? So that's a, that's a really pivotal point in this run to figure it out as the caution comes out off of turn two, Haley Deegan. Second one of the night, 15 is Haley Deegan. Dawson, fired if you can. Dawson Cram is there in the four. That thing uh, doesn't look good. Oof. Yeah, hard, hard to say whether, if, you know, he was getting pushed from behind or was that pool behind, uh, yep, behind Deegan, uh, but she, she was pinched pinching the 44 down onto the curb there and uh, obviously they all got together it seemed like just ripped the nose off that's really all the damage there was but yeah, you know that's a tough spot right I mean you see this curb this this white and red curb on the inside you know that thing is like 10 inches tall you know and it's pretty steep it's not like you can just you know you see us run on the apron sometimes to kind of de-wedge the car to make it turn you can't touch that thing it's going to ship you off of it inside of 20 laps to go stage one Almarola Custer front row Looks like 27 car might have missed a gear there. Eric with a really great jump. Creed's going to benefit. I'm going to slot into the second position. 1-2. Joe Gibbs racing now out front. Aggressive Sheldon gets, you know, full-time guy. Stage win right in front of you. Pressure on your teammate. How, how aggressive do you get here for, for a playoff point? Well, Sheldon hasn't raced Eric Amarola very much. But what I can tell you, is you don't want to play that card early. No, no, you don't. But, you know, hey, wilder things have happened. You never know. You see Sheldon kind of opening up his entry, rolling to him, trying to angle off the corner. Pretty good exit by the 18. He might have a peak here. Final lap, stage one. Almirola in front of his teammate, Ooh. Sheldon Creed. And things are tight through three and four. Just saying Warning that. shot delivered. It's Almirola who wins the first stage. Creed is second. Custer third, Mayer fourth, Almondinger stays in the top five. Hey, you see stage the two on under the one. one. Oh. See the launch on the one, not be very good. It looks like the nine. Oh, we have a big stack of Austin Hill with a bunch of damage. Corey Heim, so AJ Almondinger. It produces our line. fourth caution of the night. Wow. So the nine missed a gear on the upshift right at the start finish line, and the entire rest of the field just wasn't ready for it. Sometimes it's harder to get the car into gear while you're spinning the tires. And you see the chain reaction that happens to that. Those guys just, you, you can't see that far ahead. You're not really expecting something like that to happen. And a lot of radiators caved in and a lot of damage. And Almirola chose the outside here. And I bet you he's probably regretting it due to some of the damage he's going to get here. I think he got away like fairly clean. He might have some rear bumper damage, but that stuff's fine. Like, oh, he looks, he looks great. But yeah, I mean, it just stacks so quickly here. The, you run. You know, your gearing here is is 
so if you miss a shift, I mean, it just parks you, you know, and, and everyone's running so tight together, it just accordions really quickly, and then you just have pandemonium, like you saw. And okay, watch how fast this happens. Yeah, and it, it comes from, you know, Eric's hit doesn't look that much, but it gets worse every car behind him. It does. Like, because you're, <laughs> the cars behind him are going faster and faster, the gap is bigger, and it just, poof. I mean, you, you come up on those guys so quick that you have no time to react. There's nowhere to go. It's not like it's a mile and a half where you can bail to the outside or, or, uh, or miss this wreck, but um, it's really unfortunate. And, and Brandon Jones, he got away okay. You know, the guy who missed the shift, he, he got away okay. Austin Hill did not. Here's 21 radio. I'm sorry. Nine missed the shift there right at the start finish line. Uh, it's not your fault, man. It happens so fast. I mean, how many years we got to do this to have our together and get through the gears? How hard is it? I still don't understand. Restarting up inside the top 10. Sammy and Sam, Smith and Mayer front row. We're green again at Martinsville. Yeah, pretty good restart by the one, honestly, on those old stuff. As good as you could ask for. Yeah, and he's going to clear down into second here. So that, that worked out really good for him. Might even peek at the lead. Now he backed out of it. Who needs tires, right? Just drive it down beneath your teammate. Didn't quite get there. Chandler Smith, last week's winner. Almirola's teammate started in the back, has worked his way inside the top 15. Oh, Parker Kligerman. As we get our fifth caution of the evening, this one for the 48 of Parker Kligerman. One of our dash for cashers. That's right, going for the 100,000, and they got off to a tough start tonight, got banged up a little bit, and here they are again. Oh, he probably had a flat before then. Yeah, probably so got run into. Of, of two cars running side by side, maybe somebody's splitter or side skirt kind of running into that, that left front tire and eventually lets go. Yeah. So obviously we haven't seen that, but there's a good chance that happens at this track all the time. And there's no, there's no interliners uh, at these short tracks like Martinsville inside these tires. So um, when it goes down, it is, it is down on the earth. Restart coming. Teammates on the front row. Sammy Smith, Sam Mayer again. Another good start by the one. Stayed pretty even with the eight. And, and I feel like he might be able to slot down into second right here. Yep. So he's done a really good job, the one of Sam Mayer here, the last couple restarts of, of launching with the eight well and being a, Oh, he oh, got the curb. Opens the door for Allgaier. We're just about to compliment their strategy decision. Oh, yeah, I think he, he might have a problem. Coming to nine to go, stage two, and the race for the lead is on. Sammy Smith outside in the eight. Inside is Justin Allgaier, the veteran driving the seven. And trying to muscle his way to the point, and he does. I think Sammy recognized how much better Justin was, and he wasn't going to be able to hold that off for, for the next nine or so laps. So I think he wants to just stop the bleeding, get back down on the bottom, and, and try and hold on to as many stage points here as possible. One to go, stage two. Custer and Creed racing for position. Here's a stat you're not going to believe. It's race seven. It's stage two. And Junior Motorsports is going to get their first stage victory of the campaign. And it comes courtesy of Justin Allgaier, who does it in front of Eric Almirola. Sammy Smith was third. Carson Quaffle was fourth. Three of the top four from JRM. Tight race off pit road, won by Eric Almirola. He's in control as we begin the final stage contact Jeez. as the green goes in the air. So the eight trying to hold him tight. Eric was pretty out the racetrack, and the eight just kept running him down. Eric with a really good launch, though. Looks like Sheldon Creed's going to have the preferred lane. Debris puts us under caution for the seventh time tonight. Everybody's got a set of tires. The question becomes... Do you pit or do you stay out, try to maintain some track position? I would anticipate most coming off a 40 lap or so. Green flag run, 73 to go now as we hit the green. Did a good job. That's about as good as you could ask for from Parker for that launch, but Eric's going to try and roll this top here and pinch him off and, and be able to get this lead on the back straight away. Oh, you see the 18 getting aggressive yet, moving the 48. 48, middle of three wide as Almirola gets the lead for second. Sheldon Creed, Cole Custer, and Chandler Smith, after losing the spots on pit road, is up to fourth. It really is that time of night. I mean, you got to go. Uh, I think if you want to keep Smith. pace, you got Chandler Smith. Bottom of three. Oh, three all these wide guys. into the corner. Oh. 
slight contact. Here comes the 81. Creed not going away. Sammy Smith back in the picture. Oh, oh wow. And boy, just as we were going to do the power of love music going to break, we get a caution. It's our eighth of the night. Garrett, Garrett Smithley. Yep, Garrett Smithley in the six. Teammates front row, Al Marola, Chandler Smith. A really good launch in the outside lane by Chandler Smith. Should have given it the best shot possible here on the outside to make this work. Got word from NASCAR, the restart is under review. They've looked at a couple tonight, no penalties yet. He's hanging tough there on the outside. Doing a really good job of hanging out there. See Eric trying to run him up the track a little bit to Eric, so Eric can just get a little bit straighter launch. That tells me Eric feels like he's under threat. If he's already pulling that move, washing him up, you know, one lap after the restart, you know, he's got to go. Here's Shelton Creed. Now Eric, right Eric, has him. Him. Eric has him in a little bit better spot, right? If he has a nose ahead, he can maybe take a little bit more real estate from the 81. He's doing a great job on the outside here. Still nose to nose going into turn three. Got Eric. a thumbs up. Restart is all good as they battle for the race lead side by side. Almirola and Smith. And this is the toughest spot possible because, I mean, this is your teammate and you, you are racing for the win and you're racing for 100 grand. And yeah. we, we still have 43 laps left, but to be out of control of this race is super important as Eric finally gets that pass done for so long and Chandler's just going to sneak back down back in front of his teammate. Ooh, ooh. Oh. A little contact between the 18 and 81. 18 said, no, sir, you're not getting that in front of me. That loss of momentum allows Sheldon Creed to drive through to second. And the five looking to pick up, uh, pick up another spot. Really good run for Anthony. Mayor Sam Mayer. Sam Mayer, good thing he didn't pit there, Adam. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hey, now don't put that on me. Don't, don't you go the way of Austin Cindric here. <laughs> Mayor Sam trying to Mayer. get fourth away from Custer. Yeah. Mayor's on the move right now. One car showing a lot of speed here late in this race. He needs it. Mentioned all the bad luck for Junior Motorsports, and he shouldered the load for most of it. Just wrong place, wrong time, so many occasions. Chandler, Eric Almirola both going for an extra $100,000 tonight. I'm not sure this is over. Creed goes wide. Sam Mayer drives through to third. Crossover. That was a pretty interesting exchange. Obviously, Creed got super loose into one and gave Chandler the opportunity. Then Chandler got really loose under the 18 as he was trying to finish the pass. Bit, bit of a messy run, and, and you know, Sam Mayer looks like he's going to be able to capitalize on this in the outside lane and continue this momentum he's had coming up through the field. He's he's passed several cars, several really good cars, uh, to, to, to get halfway through this run. Say enough about the effort for Carson Quapple. Look out, Sam Mayer. Lap traffic may open the door for him to get second away from Chandler Smith. I don't know if Sam has enough to, to go just run down the leader straight up, but if we do have a caution, I bet you he feels really happy about his car. Sounds like Regan's got an update on Sam. Well, Austin, you see Sam having that good run right now. Obviously, he got shuffled out early on in the race, lost a little bit of the handle, and we got yellow on the track. How about that? Ninth yellow of the night. It comes with 16 laps to go. It's for Ryan Sieg in oh. the 39. That's too bad. Man, he's having, he was having such a good night. Uh, Ooh. Hard to tell. Either got really loose in or had a brake lock up or lost some brakes. Yeah, you can't really tell from that angle if the left, left rear appears to be up. So maybe he got, uh, might have got wheel hopping. You know, yeah. you kind of see that sometimes, yep. and, and these cars can wheel hop. You get in the corner a little faster and, and get on the brakes quick. It, it starts chattering the rear tires, and, and once that happens, especially here, gosh, there's no saving it. Finished 1-2 last week. Front row for the restart, 11 to go. Chandler Smith, Eric Almirola. Both guys spinning their tires. Going to be pretty even off a of turn two. Eric's going to try to hold them tight. 
That's two restarts in a row. Chandler's gotten really good launch and it's given him a shot to lead as they're banging Contact. doors going into three and four. Chandler Smith drives through down low and takes the top spot away from Eric Almirola. Sam Mayer to third. Okay, here we go. Nine laps to go this time around. Eric Almirola to back to the inside. He takes over the top spot. Sam Mayer smells blood now. He, he sees what Eric's willing to do to win this race, and, and, and Sam feels really good about his car. See what happens here for these last couple laps. Should be a great battle. Inside of Eric Almirola. Going to be seven laps to go, and they're side by side for the lead. Sam worked him up the track a little bit, gets his drive. Eric's still hanging on there, but I think Sam's got a good advantage here. Eric's going to try to fade high. Give him caution. Oh, caution. Sam Mayer takes over the race lead, and we get a caution. Our 10th of the night. Huge damage. Jeremy Clements is there. Jeb Burton as well. Saw Myatt Snyder, Kyle Sieg. That's a shame for Jeb. Obviously, they had a really fast car tonight and got the points in both stages and um, see what happened here to cause this. Top right of the screen looks like Jeb was, was in the middle of three wide and lost a bit of drive on the exit, and some guys got stacked up from behind and a lot, just a lot of contact. Yeah, Jeb was getting used up for a few laps, and uh, left rear looks cut. I, I, he might have had a cut left rear there off of four, and it, you saw it. Yeah, I think yeah. he had a left rear down and slowed up and, and kind of got run over from behind. So just uh, one of those things that just compound right on each other and uh, took a couple guys uh, you know, involved in that wreck. Jeremy Clements, poor Jeremy Clements have had, has had a rough night. Overtime at Martinsville, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Mayor Almirola, here we go. 18, giving the sh one a shot, getting in the corner. Moving them up, we're going to be three wide for the Shelton lead. Creed, three wide, Eric inside of through. Mayer. Chandler Smith making a move. Almirola gets the lead. Wow, what a sequence. Here's a white flag. Next flag will end it. Caution is out. The race is over. And it's going to be Eric Almirola who claims the victory at Martinsville. Talk about whirlwind of emotions, right? Had the race in the bag, late caution. You lose the lead, you get it back. Really good job by Eric Almiro. That's awesome to see. Got it back the same way he lost it, outside on the restart. Yep. So, yep. A deserving win for, for Eric. Obviously dominated this race, showed the veteran that he is, and, and uh, obviously very happy. Thank you, boys. So Sam Mayer's going to get a great launch here, going to have an advantage, but Sheldon Creed's just going to line up and, 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 and use the bumper to try and give himself the best shot to win the race, make it bottom of three, and gives Eric the, the momentum here on the top. Yeah, you know, the 18 touching the, the curb, the one forcing him down there, trying to, you know, kind of make it a, a tight fit for him. Eric was just able to roll momentum on the top and, and was able to get clear, you know, by a good chunk there, um, which just worked out great for him. So, I mean, it's just one of those things, right? Like. The one thinks his safest bet is on the bottom, but you take the chance of, hey, the third guy might might hit me, you know, and uh, it just didn't work out for the one. And now what brought out the caution that ended the race, Riley Herbst in the 98. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.